Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Now, if you use any company or software that is based in the United States and you feel that the services that you are receiving are not as you expected or you are being mistreated as a customer, you can actually file a complaint to be treated better by the business or the company the better business bureau because this is the yeah, platform that actually makes sure that customers are receiving the best service possible now the thing is that you don't have to worry about you not being in the united states if you are not in the united states you can still file a complaint with the better business bureau if you are in the united states you can still file a complaint if you're not you can still file a complaint all right so now you can also write a review with the better business Bureau. So to file a complaint, what you have to do once you come to the Better Business Bureau website, the bb.org, just click on file a complaint and it will bring you to a page where you can search for the company you want to file a complaint about. So like for me, I'm going to choose people because that's a company I want to file a complaint about because um, they had an account banned. So I'm going to show you just as a demonstration purposes. Of course, my account was uh, after they went through the review. My account was the ban on my account was lifted. So I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So what you're going to do, you click first of all. There are options here. They'll ask you what you're trying to do. How can they help? So you say I would like to file a complaint against a business and have BBB help me get a resolution to my problem why you want to choose this is that you want the business and bbb B, B, B to be like the middle man between you and the business okay bb will be like your spokesperson and they'll do it for free in terms of your complaint so what you're going to do is go right ahead and click file a complaint so the next thing it's going to do it's going to ask you to find the business that you want to file a complaint against. So I'm going to use PayPal. So I'm going just to search for PayPal. All right. So once you begin typing for the name, you see there will be companies that will pop up. So I'm just going to check this one, PayPal Inc. Okay, because that's the company which is PayPal. Okay, PayPal.com. So I'm just going to click on that one, and here they ask me okay so is this complaint solely about buyer's remorse or you regret spending money on the product or service or something else so you can check you can read through what this is okay are you filing this complaint for bb information only now uh, what i'm, I'm filing this inform uh, complaint because none of these apply to me so i'm just going to say no to all of the above questions okay then the second one is is this an employee employer complaint is this so this is no is this a discrimination or civil rights complaint no does the complaint seek to, seek a criminal uh, no has the complaint been filed in court no are you a business attempting to collect money from another business no we're not attempting to collect money from another business what we're just trying to do is we want something else okay so we're going to Click continue. Then here they're saying, we want to make sure we can help you with a complaint. The following will help us to make sure your complaint is processed promptly. So to avoid delays, please include the name of the entity you are complaining against. So in this case, I'll be complaining about PayPal. So let me just copy this name because also PayPal Inc. owns a lot of companies. It owns Venmo, it owns Zoom, it owns Honey. So I'm just going to go with PayPal, the payment platform. Okay, so click continue. All right, so now once you are on this page, you want to enter your details here on this page. So make sure you enter your details. And now when you're entering your details, you have to make sure that the details you are providing are genuine details. So I'm just going to pause this so that I can enter some details. All right, so I have entered the email, I've entered the address, and I've entered also the phone number, and also the full legal name. Now here where it's showing you where you have to enter your address, you have to enter your real address, your real address, okay? So you can see, like I mentioned, Better Business Bureau is in the United States. If you're in the United States, just go right ahead and choose United States. 
regardless of the country where you are you just choose whichever country that you are so first and foremost on state and province you have to choose outside north america if you're outside the north north america or just click here and you see some drop downs now let me just go to country here and let's say for example i'll choose let's say okay let's say let me find kenya for example and use it as demonstration okay so let's say kenya okay now if i have kenya here and here i choose outside north america then i can go right ahead and enter details here for location all right all right so you have to enter a city here then let me just say okay because uh initially these details they don't matter the addresses don't matter but of course just put uh, like they appear on your paper account is much better so that in case let's say they ever check them out they see what is important is the email address the name and also the paypal account all right so i'm going to click continue all right so now you can see here once uh i've done that it brings us to this page where now we've done uh step one we've told them about ourselves step two we've told uh, we have to tell them now about the complaint then step three there will be a review and the complaint will be submitted all right so now here is the thing they ask did the issue occur within the last 12 months yes does your complaint involve a healthy issue or a health care provider no okay now here is where we have to tell them about our complaint okay we can even include transaction details and the likes okay so now i'm going to pause the video and write a complaint here so that you can just simply see what i wrote all right so i have written a complaint here now when you're providing a complaint and you're writing out your complaint you have to provide as much detail as possible in relation to what transpired so for example here you can see i uh, i'm stating i've been using this uh how you've been using that company you can state that so like here i've said i've been using people to receive payments from online business and um, on such such a date i made this transaction and the likes then i got this notification that my account was banned so now depending with what your problem is you can also provide those details also make sure you include details about the dates and when you were banned okay so that if let's say on or when you were unfairly treated so that they know exactly what is happening once you are done with that you want to scroll down and you want to proceed to the next step now here they'll ask you for your desired solution so in this case i have to check what is my desired solution because what i want is that the account they just restore the access to the account okay that's the only thing i want so here i'm going to say other and what is my desired solution i'm just going to say uh, lift ban okay so i'm just going to say lift ban and if i have let's say if you have any documents you would like to provide as supporting documents you can actually provide them here for them to go through okay so if, let's say for example you have screenshots maybe you contact the customer support they didn't answer you nicely and they likes you can provide screenshots here actually don't try to forge make sure you provide true and accurate information because the better business bureau takes things seriously and companies know that dealing with them and dealing poorly with customers is a something that the better business bureau will not tolerate so make sure you provide accurate information don't try to forge lies so that you can win the favor of better business bureau you might just end up losing all right so once you are happy with the information you've provided and the likes what you want to do now the next thing is to uh, click the continue button so that you can actually review what you've written so here is what you've written you can see the description of the complaint you can go through it again and just see exactly what is happening okay all right so now they'll give you a preview of your complaint you can go through it to make sure everything is correctly and what we've said is the truth and if you've ever forgotten anything or maybe some information you can just simply click the edit and you can correct the details so now once you are happy with everything that you've done 
what you want to do here is answer some questions that they are asking here uh optional this is optional i'm a u.s active duty service member so if you're in the u.s and you are someone like an active service member you just have to tick this now this does not apply to this complaint then here would you like to would you be willing to help bbb with the complaint reporting by answering some additional questions now you have to tick this because if you don't tick it it will seem like you are not faithful enough then here they ask what is your age range okay so i'm just going to go with 25 to 34 just choose your age range that's all right then here i have read and agreed to the complaint submissions i authorize business about my complaint disclose to bb and the likes agree to this and click submit so now here you have to submit the complaint and just have to click this button and the complaint will be submitted all right so there we have it the complaint has been submitted okay